All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to Planet Zoo, where last time we were playing this game, we played the Madagascan Simian Conservation Project, and today we're going to be continuing on with the career scenarios and playing Panda Park. And we're going to be seeing if we can get a word in edgewise with the lady that's assisting us, because she gives us a lot of advice, but... Uh, Let's go ahead and start this one new. Let's see what we can't build today. Make sure too that if you enjoy Planet Zoo or if you enjoy this channel or any of the other games that we play that you hit that like and subscribe button and we will keep up this content and keep the games coming. I'm relatively new to this game. So I don't really know how to do everything that we could probably do. Probably not even close. But if you have any suggestions on how to do things better, feel free to leave me a comment and we will discuss it. Any minute now. <laughs> or sub thoughts. There we go. Beautiful scenery. Ah, oh, pandas. <laughs> They're my daughter's favorite animal. Oh, Bernie. <laughs> I think it's fair to say that if ever there was an animal which has captured the public's imagination, it's pandas. Oh, well, that's assuming you ignore cats and dogs, obviously. It'll take more than a cute bear to knock them off of the top spot. <laughs> oh, but did you know? Thanks to the incredible conservation work that's being done in China and around the world, pandas are no longer endangered. <laughs> Amazing! That said, they're still considered vulnerable. So, this zoo is extraordinarily lucky and honored to be part of that conservation effort. It really speaks to our reputation. A reputation that you're going to be in charge of maintaining, along with all the uh, general maintaining, too. I really can tell you how important the welfare of those pandas is. Oh, wait, I can. <laughs> it is vitally important. The eyes of the world are on you, my friend. Although, <laughs> perhaps more pressingly, <clears throat> the eyes of Nancy are on you, too. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to China. Nancy. This is Bernie's brand new panda celebration zoo. Panda? So new, in fact, panda. it's not quite finished, but we'll deal with that later. First, let's take a tour of the zoo. Okay. Well, General G here is here to work on the general welfare of the zoo. Okay, we need to locate the panda exhibit, but I want to see what's in here. Oh my gosh. Look at this guy. Whatever that is. Gar. Cool. Gotta appreciate the architecture. Seems like it's different at all the different spots as well. So this one here, what is this guy? Okapi? Cool. And what about this guy? Obviously the giant pandas are the main Bayard attraction Starpin. for this zoo, and luckily for oh, us, we, caught him doing we his have business. one which was born just a few days ago. Let's go and have a look at it. Okay. Go on. So Don't here's the panda exhibit. Select the panda cub. I will, Nancy. Can I get, uh, give me a chance to get in here. So this is cool. 
the two story and then people can come and observe from the top down. Looks like we have a little bit of cleaning up that we need to do. And then here's the panda cup that we're looking at. And click on the camera to enter animal camera mode. Right. Thank you. Oh, doesn't it just warm the cockles of your heart? So cute. Did you know that giant pandas, or Ileropoda merleluca, if we're being formal, are the only entirely herbivorous bears? They can actually eat up to 38 kilos of bamboo a day. <laughs> Not that surprising, given that they'll spend up to 14 hours a day chomping away. I don't imagine this little fluffball has that kind of appetite yet, though. Yeah, you don't know, Nancy. Oh, no. I just got word from one of our keepers that a sable antelope was placed into a habitat without going through quarantine first and that they're displaying signs of disease. Uh-oh. We'll have to move them into quarantine to stop the infection from spreading to the other animals. To do that, go to the highlighted habitat, find the infected animal, and then select them to bring up their information panel. Okay. Will do, Nancy. Will do. Okay, let's go find the, uh... What are we looking for? Sable antelope. There it is over here. Good. Now click move and then transfer them into quarantine. I've highlighted the quarantine facility in the zoo for you. Okay. Quarantine facility. Oh, there we go. Oh, phew. That's a relief. There we go. Now that we've stopped the infection from spreading any further, we need to build a vet surgery so the antelope can be treated and then returned to his habitat. I've already highlighted where I'd like you to build it, so why don't we head over there? Box him up. In order to build the vet surgery, click on Facilities, Staff Facilities, and then Vet Surgeries. I guess uh, we can probably build right over the top of these rocks here. Facilities, and then vet surgeries. Uh, but we don't need a... Well, no, yeah, let's do that one. Maybe. Where's the entrance? There we go. So... One thing that I find interesting. See, it doesn't seem like I can get it perfectly square here. Now, maybe that's just me and not knowing what we're doing exactly yet. See, I know I can place it there. Let's see how it's still just slightly off. How the corner, the right corner, is hitting the... Oh well. So see how that's just not, it's not lined up perfectly? I would like to. That's the job? Vet surgeries play a very important role in a zoo, as they're the only that. places that vets can treat the animals. Once there's room for the antelope, the vet will pick them up from quarantine and bring them to the surgery. Alright, thanks, Nancy. Hmm. Yes, there goes. diseases no. can spread through a habitat quite easily, especially if the water inside it isn't being cleaned regularly. As it happens, I just got a report that one of our water treatment facilities has broken down oh. and the water in the flamingo and saltwater crocodile habitats has gotten dirty. Well, let's call them a I highlighted the water treatment facility for you, so you should go and check it out. Yes, we're going to call a mechanic. Click on the water treatment facility to bring up its information panel. Thanks, Nancy. Um, we're, we did it. Yes, I don't think you need a degree in mechanics to tell that this thing's thoroughly banjaxed. Click call mechanic to get him to come over and fix it for us. Got it. So, just to explain, water treatment facilities work in a similar manner to power sources, in that they have a radius of influence around them. That okay. means any body of water which is even partly within that radius will be cleaned automatically. All right, cool. Also, like power sources, if they get damaged, water. that radius of influence will shrink, meaning that it might stop cleaning water sources which were only just within its reach. Okay. 
If you want to check how much of your zoo is covered by your water treatment facilities, then there's a heat map you can use to see the coverage. Right. That way, you can quickly spot problem areas and rectify the issue. Rectified. Good work. Now that the water treatment facility has been repaired, the water will be cleaned up in two shakes of a lamb's tail. <laughs> you can also use mechanics to repair power facilities, transport rides, spins, benches, signs, and, as you already know, habitat barriers. Now, I'll be honest, I'm still a little worried about that disease scare we had, so I think we should do some research into it. Okay. Doing research into a disease can help prevent future outbreaks of it. And even if we do have an outbreak, it'll make the disease much less potent. I'd like you to start here. some research into border telosis. Border disease telosis. research can be found in vet research, so head over to your research center and get one of the vets researching it. We got it, Nancy. We got it. Lovely job. Once that research is complete, I expect we'll send that disease packing in no time. Whew! That was a close-run thing with those antelopes. <laughs> I dread to think what might have happened if you hadn't got them into quarantine as quickly as you did. Fast thinking there. We had a horrible oh, outbreak of viral gastroenteritis here at Goodwin House. Although, luckily, <laughs> that was just limited to me and my wife. Right. Now that we've got all our urgent tasks in hand, we can start to focus on the guests and improving their time in the park. Okay, you let's see, do that. You can also do research into new and improved guest facilities, transport rides, as well as new types of barrier and other things via the workshop. I've highlighted the workshop for you, so head over there, select it, and then click on View Workshop. Okay. Uh, is it view workshop or is it uh, view mechanic research? And uh, finally, uh, assign a mechanic to research souvenir shops by dragging and dropping them on souvenir it. shops. I can't wait to see what they come up with. Let's pick this guy. I'm assuming that with mo stuff. more stars, they'll do that it faster. That research will take a little while, so let's have a look <laughs> at something else in the meantime. Okay. Because we've had some good news. Okay. Oh, Nancy, super excited. It turns out that we're allowed to adopt more giant pandas. The oh. authorities have given us three females to help with our breeding program. Even so, I'm sure you know how notoriously difficult it is to get pandas to breed, so we'll have to be patient. Our huh? current giant panda habitat is full oh. to the brim, but luckily Look we've already got another habitat ready to go. We are but all... before we move our new pandas in, they'll need to go through quarantine. Night of sky. course, we can't do that until we've accepted them. <laughs> so open up Animal Trading and go okay. into the Animal Reward section. Animal Reward. Just click Transfer to Animal Storage next to each of the pandas, and then they'll be sent there. Okay. And Animal Storage Finally, is just we can send it. them from Animal Storage to quarantine. To do that, just select them in Animal Storage. Then click Send to Zoo, and then click on the quarantine facility in the zoo. Don't worry, I've highlighted it for you so you can find it easily. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, there's one. Two. Three. While we wait for them to clear quarantine, you should set up their new habitat so they feel at home in there. Okay. I'll will. also need you to bring over one of the male pandas from our other habitat, but because without him, we're not going to have much of a breeding program, are we? <laughs> so go on, move him over and get everything set up for your pandas. So move one male giant panda to new habitat. So we need to look here. Or is this, this must be the new one since it's empty. Okay, let's go this way. Okay. Here is a giant panda female. Oh, there we go. Move him. Over here. Oops. There we go. Add feeding stations, food enrichment, toy enrichment, increase welfare to 90%, increase plant welfare. 
to 90%. Okay. So let's look and see. So we need a feeding station. So we need to go to habitats, food. And what do they eat from? Do they eat from a feeding platform? Three millimeters, four millimeters, giant panda. Yes, they do. Okay. Let's go ahead and place that somewhere pretty visible to all of our viewers. There we go. Um, we need food enrichment. What about water? Okay, they have water. Let's see, food enrichment. Um, a block of frozen fruit. Let's see, grizzly bears. You would think that a panda would like that, but no. Nope. What is this? A uh, forage box enrichment. No. A forage pool. Grazing ball. Hmm. Well. What are these giant pandas like that? There we go. So we have the feeding station over here. Let's go ahead and put one over here. For people to see. Toy enrichment. Let's see. What do pandas like to play with? A block of ice, maybe? Giant panda? Yes. Let's do a couple more, though, because we know... Giant panda. We know that they like more than one toy. And um, plants welfare is 90%. We need the terrain welfare. So terrain, go to here. So you have your panda overview and go to your terrain. So right here it says animal needs more short grass or grass short and less long grass. So we just come to terrain, pick short grass and here we go. Start painting in short grass. Good news! Our new female pandas have been given a clean bill of health. You'd best move them into the new habitat so they can settle in. Nancy, and I I'm hope not... you've made their habitat as comfy I as wasn't, possible. I wasn't because quite animals done. will only breed if they're happy. Oh, good grief. Locate the highlighted area. Nancy, I wish you would let me finish one task before we move to the next one. That wasn't 100% complete. Okay. Locate the highlighted area. Okay, we're here. Move the giant pandas from quarantine to the new habitat. Okay. So let's go over here. Move here. Oops. There we go. Oh, there we go. Bless. I think they'll be really happy in there. Look at that Fingers block of ice. crossed we'll see some lovely new cubs sooner rather than later. Block but of ice. While they're being delivered, we'd better get on with something else. Oh, dear me. What? There's never any time to rest when you're running a zoo, is there? Well, Excuse me, unless sir. you hit the pause button. Right. Okay, I think it's time I taught you all about work zones. I know, they don't sound as interesting as the animals, but trust me, they're ever so useful. You see, okay, work go. zones are a way of making sure that your staff concentrate on specific habitats or Keeper tasks hut. within the zoo. So they and aren't wandering room. off elsewhere when it's time to feed the animals or the like. Okay. So let's start by creating a new work zone and then right. assigning a keeper to it so that they know to look after the new pandas. Staff. To do that, work go into zones the zoo section, the staff then tab. click on staff and then work zones. Okay. I'm assuming we're going to create a work zone. Now, click on New Work Zone. Right. To set up your new work zone, I'll need you to select the highlighted habitat gate, staff room, and keeper hut. Oh, and don't forget to name it something useful. <laughs> Once you're done, just go ahead and exit the work zone creator.
Okay. Work zone 10. I guess we can... Now let's hire a new keeper and assign them to our new work zone. We don't want them getting distracted by other goings-on in the zoo. Go on, hire one. New panda habitat. So we need to go and we're going to hire... What did she say? I was trying to do something. She, she tends to hire and assign a work zone to one keeper. So I guess we need a keeper. Go ahead and place him here. Then click on your new keeper to bring up their information panel and go to their employment tab. We'll just walk right in, sir. Oh. At employment. the bottom, you can assign them to your new work zone there from the drop-down menu. Awesome. So now he go. works specifically now here. Now your keeper will focus his attention on our new pandas. We need a cleaner. Oh, and just so you know, all types of staff can be assigned work zones. Thank just you, sir. make sure that they have access to all the buildings that they need. And one last thing. You might find it faster to assign them from the work zones tab in the staff section of Zoo Management. That'll save you having to chase around selecting your staff one by one. Right. Oh, it sounds like the brand research has been completed. You should collect your rewards. And you can do that by clicking on the notification or by going back into mechanic research. So, mechanic research. There now we that go. we've got our lovely new Just a Memento shop designed, you should build one of them near the zoo's exit. That way, the guests won't miss it on their way out, and we won't miss out on their money. Okay. So, I'm assuming it's like the uh, the vets. So, if you have a mechanic assigned to um, researching a specific thing, they're going to... Once they completed the first round, they're going to continue researching that until it is completed and you get the research complete certificate, which is this right here. So let's go place a just a moment, a momento. Get out of this stuff here. Facilities, they said go away. Guest facilities. Merchandise. Just a momento. I wonder if we can place that one or if it has to be that one. I don't know. We're going to find out. Let's see here. So. No, that one's not connected. So let's see. Let's come over here real quick. Okay, it would appear it doesn't fit that way. But um, here's my question: Would it fit that way? I mean, look how it's running into the, the to the restroom there. Invalid rotation. Okay, so I'm assuming that it can't be hitting the other building. All right, well, let's try this one. This one's kind of, this one looks dumb, but I don't like the way that one looks at all. But we'll do, we do, we will do what we have to do to get through this. Maybe if it lets us, let's see. Oh, that's ever so wonderful, that is. That looks tacky, I'm Nancy. I'm just off for a moment, but I'm sure I'll have some more jobs for you to look at shortly. Look how tacky that looks. Oh, thank you for working here, though. Just adorable. Just a momento. <laughs> I can see why people keep foolishly forgetting that they're yeah, wild bears. Yeah. <laughs> and good work on that new gift shop branding. Just a memento. <laughs> Very clever. Much better than our old <laughs> overpriced <laughs> gifts branding. Like those glasses, I'm man. all for truth in advertising, but it was perhaps a little <laughs> on the nose. Oh, Bernie. Back as promised. Right. Okay, Nancy, what I'd are we like doing next? I'd like you to increase the number of different species in the zoo. Now, you can find out what species are already in your zoo by going into the zoo section and then into the animals area. Okay. And if you're wondering how you're going to fit them all in, then mixed species habitats are a great way to save space and okay. create oh, interesting okay. habitats. So this is what we Just have. Just make sure to check the Zoopedia to find out which species enjoy living together. 
E.G. don't mix lions with antelopes. Oh, you don't say. Nancy, you're so wise. Okay, let's see. What what can we get here? Um, We need to go to animal trading. This is what's on the market. So, I wonder if Black Wildebeest would go well with anything. Um, Up here is the Zoopedia. Let's look for the Black Wildebeest. Um, and up here it gives you general information, natural habitat, species data, research status, and interspecies enrichment. So, sable antelope. Hey, looky there. Um, they also go well with common warthog. So, let's go find that sable antelope. And we'll put a couple of black wildebeest in there. Uh, where is he? Let's see. Go to the zoo and your animals. Where is that sable antelope? Hmm, there he is. Click on the locate and we were right next door. Doesn't look very big. This, uh... Is this it? Is this where the sable antelope was? Or was he over here? Let's see. Oh, there's a grazing ball in action. Okay, so this is the sable antelopes. Oh, yep, there he is. Okay. So we can place the black world piece in here. So how many do we need here? Um, we have 15. We need 18. So let's go ahead and go to the animal trading and buy a couple of those. Um. Okay. Okay. So now they're really locating those, but we also saw in the Zoopedia that they co they go well with the sable antelope and warthog. So I wonder if we could place a warthog in here. Let's see. Or if, I wonder if there's a limit to how many species we can put in here. I don't know. Oh, well, there's a warthog. Let's try it. Is she coming? Okay. She's coming. He's coming. Okay. All right. So now we're at 15, 16, 17. And we're going to need one more. But let's wait to see what these look like and what type of terrain they need. They might already be set up because if they are interest, they can interspecies with. I would like to say coha cohabitat, cohabitate, co whatever. Ooh, there he is. Oh, there they both are. Oh, cool. You like to stand just so close to each other? Okay, so. It looks like they need um, a little bit more long grass, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do a little bit more long grass for them. Just a little bit till they get there. And that's good for them. Coverage. What has he got in his mouth? What are you chewing on, sir? Oh, that's cute. Yeah. He's cute, man. Alright, there's those stinky old warthogs. Let's see what they need. Are you aching? Rump, 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 rump. Okay, so they need some enrichment. Um, food enrichment. So let's see. Habitats. Enrichment food. And these are common warthogs. They don't like those. They probably need a port. They're, they are pigs. Oh, there we go. That's awfully big here. Where's a good place for observing? Right there. Okay. Okay, so we're at 99% there. Good on terrain. Good on all that. So what about our wildebeest? Where are they? There they are. Are they okay? It looks like they're good on everything, so. Okay, so that's good. We have 
Animal requires less plants and tree coverage. Uh, but we're okay. I mean, it's pretty close to that. So now we need one more, right? We need one more and increase the average habitat species overall welfare to 90%. So let's see. Animal. Let's go to the zoo and we'll look at their overall welfare. Who's doing pretty good? These guys are a little low. Let's go see what they need. Enrichment. So, species food enrichment. So, if we go to... Oh, uh, which one was it? Food. I know I can do it in the... Uh, I know I can do it here. Let's see. If we go here, we can go to food. And... See, they're on the three... Okay, well they're both getting the, the quality three, so... What do they need here? Coverage. Animal requires more plants and tree coverage. So, their biomes are temperate and taiga. So... I mean, we all know that... We all know that they like bamboo, right? So, why don't we put a little bit of that? Oh, but that's not a part of their thing, so... Maybe Bengal bamboo? Okay, and then maybe a... Where is this one? Take that away. Oh, well, whatever. So, we need a few more here. Let's go ahead and put in some trees here. Whoa. Take it on down. Let's put a spruce tree in here. That's not uh, coverage. So, we're, uh, we're good on plants. What is this? Plants and tree coverage. That didn't do anything. So, let's get rid of those. Let's try to find something that... I don't feel like that's a good one. Let's look at just this area. Cypress? How did that how did that work for you guys? Uh animal needs more short grass and less long grass, but we'll deal with that in a second. Um more plant and coverage, let's see. Elm tree. Oh, that was a good one. Let's try a different one. Common ash tree. And what if we put some common water lilies over here? Nice. Okay. And maybe one more tree. A holly tree? That one's small. A little bare on this side. Let's see. Holly tree. A big holly tree. A little bit. I'm trying to get this up here just a little. I mean, I know they're good, so. Sugar maple. Cool. Let's try a big sugar maple. Okay. So we're good there. Let's just let's just do that. So now we need a little bit more short grass and less long grass. So we go to terrain and we select short grass. And we remember we didn't get to finish this because Nancy was chatting. So let's go ahead and paint this up. And it is taking the sh the long grass away. So we'll get down close so you can see. See, they need less long grass. There's a little bit. A little less. Apparently these guys don't like any long grass. So, that's good. Maybe a little bit more soil. Just to... Bring that number up. Okay. And they needed some enrichment. Uh, food enrichment. So let's see. I think they... So we go here under food enrichment. 
We would put one of those. Giant panda likes these. A food. What is that? A tree scatter feeder. Okay, so now we're back up to 90%. We could probably throw one more toy in here. Let's see. You know the giant pandas probably like the soccer ball. I guess not. Okay, maybe a rubber ducky. Huh. Giant otter. What about this big tire thing? Or a little tire, I guess. So let's see if we can't get it up to 100%. Yep, 100%. Good. So let's go back to the zoo. And look at our animal welfare. So these guys are struggling. Oh, these guys are really struggling. Okay, we need to go find these guys. What do you guys need? Let's see. Social. They need space, so let's see if this tells us anything else. They need more snow, and they need more na navigable climbing area. So let's see if they have another one that we can put here. Environment coverage is good. Severe social welfare issues, so space. So I think that has to do with the climbing. So let's let's check that out. So if we go to habitat, we can go to climbable. And they don't have anything that we can actually just set here. So let's see. That one's a little short. That one's a little short too. Let's see. Four meters. How long are these? These are all... Okay, there we go. A little bit longer. There we go. Surprised these aren't. Is that one? Yeah, okay. Let's, let's get rid of these. I wanted to try to put like one here, one here, and then putting one of these across. Yeah, let's try this. Oops. I don't want to put two, so then we can do this advanced ro movement, and we can rotate it. So let's rotate it. Move it up. Whoa. Yeah, this is funky, huh? Okay. Move it over. Where is it going? It's going way down. There we go. Huh. Anyways, does that look... <laughs> like I said, I'm not... Uh... Okay, so they're getting a little bit. We're gaining some. Let's go ahead and put a platform up here for this, guys. Maybe. Okay, so we're going up. A little bit more. I want it to go up. It's just not long enough. Like I said, guys, this could be a little painful. Let's see. Give me a give me a minute to try to figure this out. Let's see. Uh, I don't really like that one. What about this guy? And we put some up here. They can get way high. Okay, so their space is going up. 
and we put one on top of this little guy. Let's see. We'll call this the crow's nest. 73. Not really moving too much. Probably putting too much stuff in here. Try to get straight with this. Oh well, it is what it is. There, 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 there. It doesn't look perfectly. Uh, <laughs> doesn't look great, but that's okay. Do a little bit of snow for these guys. Is this gonna stay? Because remember, we need to go to the heat index. Maybe we can. So they have some coolers over here, but we can place some more coolers um, under habitat, heaters, and here's a cooler. So then we can place more snow, and it should keep the snow. Nice. There we go. Okay, so how are we? How are we doing now? Enrichment. We could use a toy and a food enrichment. So let's just let's just do that. Um, enrichment. These guys are Japanese. I don't know how you say that. Um. There we go. Let's pull one more. So food enrichment's at 100%. Now we need toy enrichment. I would assume that they need maybe some trees. Nope, that's like jaguars and stuff. What about these little a bobin drum? No. A box. Maybe. Oh yep, yeah, there we go. Didn't do much for these guys. Um, where are we? Boy, these guys are kind of picky here. Let's do one more little thing here. One more little thing. There we go. 100%. And habitat it needs a, a little bit more of a hard shelter, but I think we're good for now. Good. I mean, like I said, it doesn't look great, but we are well, we're learning. We could probably jump from here out. But okay, let's go back to our zoo. Which other guys were doing kind of bad? These flamingos. Um, these guys a little bit. Let's go to the flamingos and see what they need real quick. Habitat. Oh yeah, enrichment. Everybody needs toys. That's the thing. So, so these are what flamingos. I know greater flamingos. So what do greater fl flamingos play with? A sprinkler maybe? Yes. Not that high up, though. There we go. Eighty percent. We'll find something else. A little a water jet. No. No. Um. Giant otter. Huh. You guys are a little. Picky. Greater flamingo. There we go. Hundred percent. So food enrichment. Do they want a forage box? A forage pool. There we go. They have one. 
So what else could we put? Well, it looks like they get another another forge wheel. Let's see. Too bad it's so big. Alright. There. Sorry. Okay, hard shelter. Insufficient space to cover all of them. And they need less plants and tree coverage so let's just delete one of these uh, maybe we'll take this one out that looks horrible right there but they didn't really give us a lot of space can we place a small shelter here let's see habitats and shelters four by four maybe and what do they like to sleep on? Greater Flamingo. There we go. Hey. Okay, let's see how they look now. How are you guys doing now? Alright, looks like everybody's doing pretty good. Pretty decent on the hard shelter. There's not really much we can do for that. Okay. Let's look at the overall welfare of those flamingos. Did it go up? It did, so good job for us. So now we need to basically just look for another spot to put another species. So what do these guys want? Less short grass. Okay, what do you need more of? Less short grass, less long grass. More soil. Okay, so let's add a little bit more soil for these guys. Let's see here. Soil light. Hopefully it's not jack, uh, jacking up the the other animal that's in here with him. Okay. Less long grass. Anyways, we'll we'll look at we'll come back. So they basically need some food enrichment. Food enrichment for what was that? Coca pea? Coca pea? Coca pie? Okay, food enrichment. Let's see. What are these guys like? No. No. Grazing ball? This one, maybe? Yep. Alright, 100%. We can't fix everything about it. It's not perfectly ideal, but... Okay, so what else can these guys... hang out with? So, we've got... the Bayard's... I think it was the Bayard's Tarpon? Is that what that is? Somewhere in here. A dot. Hmm, yep, there's something right there. Yep. Okay, so let's look in the Zoopedia and see what the Bayard's Tarpon can... Anteaters and... Alright. Should we put an anteater in there? What about the Okapi? Doesn't benefit from sharing space with other species, okay. But that doesn't mean that they can't, so... Let's see, what's on the animal trader market here? I want a giant anteater, let's see. Let's 
Of course. Okay, let's look around. Where can we put something else? There's a little spot. Here's a little spot. How about we make this simple? Let's put something over here. Okay. Barriers. Let's do... Concrete across the back to separate this area. Not that way. <laughs> and funny how I selected concrete and... Move this in just a little bit. Maybe. I want to move this in. There we go. And then we'll do last, maybe, from here. Um, yeah. And no, no, no. There. What? Okay, what is going on here? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we have a small area here. What do you think I'm going to put here? Something easy. I didn't want to move the whole thing. Okay, there's a little thing here, so what do we want to put in here? Let's see. Animal trading. Oh yeah, we need to... Well, we could put some tortoises. We have these guys already. What do we not have? Bears, there's some bears here. Um, do we have any peafowl? Indian peafowl? Let's see. In our zoo, we have no peafowl. Okay, so that looks like an easy one to do. Let's do that. Um, no, this one. So, let's go ahead and buy a couple. Um, adopt, send a zoo here. Oh, you know what? You know what I forgot? Probably do. You probably do. So, let's go ahead and make this a path here for staff only. Um, why has it failed? Okay, why? 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 Do a little cut across here for we forgot to put a gate. So let's go ahead and put a glass one in here. Okay, so it would not let me put them in there because we did not have a gate, so let's see what we have here now. See? Now here they come. So we have one female, we'll buy one male. And then let's see what they uh, what they require. 
You know they're going to need some type of shelter. So let's go ahead and get that going for them. A small shelter. Huh. Oh, just a small shelter. Yeah. 4x4x2 four by four by is probably sufficient for these little guys. Then we need some snooze bedding. I'm sure you know by now how to make your animals happy. Aww. So you'd best get that sorted before the inspector gets you. Sorry, did I not mention there was an inspector coming? Nancy. Oh dear. Looks like you've got everything humming away nicely. Well done. Oh, well, okay. it seems that with our new pandas and other species, we've attracted lots and lots of new guests. Nancy's Let's catching up. Let's work on making sure those guests are kept happy. Okay. That means making sure they have great views of the animals, lots of places to buy food and drink, and, well, lots of places to get rid of food and drink. <laughs> Toilets. Okay, Nancy. You should think carefully about where to put your guest facilities, though. For instance... Don't put all of the food shops in the same place. Just look at how the guests are distributed around the park and put your facilities where they'll be needed the most. Okay, Nancy. As long as you remember to pay attention to what the guests are thinking, you'll soon have a handle on what everyone wants. Well, there we go. Okay, can I, can I move now? What did we need to do here? Um... Open the guest view. Let's look at the guest needs. So we can see definitely see some need over here. So we need to place a chief beef. Beef. That's what's for dinner. Guest facilities. Food. Food. Planet Zoo theme shop. Um, I don't like these. Bernie's baked foods. Chief beef. Well, I don't like that. That they. That I have to use that one, but whatever. Chief beef. Okay. Place a cosmic cow milkshake. So that would probably be under drinks. A drink shop. Let's see. I'm assuming... So we can see... Well, where do we go for... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Happiness. I guess we should have done that. Oh, I was looking at that one. Okay, so... Hunger, we've got a good spot for that one. And then thirst... I mean, it looks like, honestly, anywhere would probably work. So, where can we? We don't want to place them inside of the flamingo habitat. Oh, let's just put it right here. Well, whatever. Remember, we can design our own stuff here. Why is it not letting me turn it? Oh. I don't want to do that. Why is it making me... Yeah, we'll see. Let's just move this one. How's that? I don't want to be in that mode, buddy. There. Okay. Oh, I just clicked it away.
Okay. I right clicked on it. Um, place an information center. I think it's education. Where are they least learned? Apparently that's everywhere. Information center. I wish we could do the other ones, but oh well. Oh well, we'll do that later whenever we can build our own. A toilet block! Toilet. Where is everybody in desperate and dire need of a bathroom? Let's see. Right at the panda exhibit, so we may as well put it over here. Well, it would appear that this is the, the place to be. East Asia toilet small. Let's just go ahead and do. Let's go big or go home. And can we place a rubbish bin? Okay. Well, we have some. We have plenty. Oh, we need to place five bins. Okay. Well, let's just kind of place them around here bins all over the place. And place five benches. Very nice. Go ahead and make it even on both sides. Let's definitely put some up here. Place some there, and then we'll put one by the panda eggs. Where is that? Over here. Oh, sounds like the inspector's almost here. Okay. Now, I fully expect here comes you to the pass inspector. with flying colors. Anything less, and I might have to organize a little job exchange scheme for you with whoever's mucking out the pandas. So really, if we... Uh... So let's, we'll just follow her. All right, we're going to follow the inspector. How are we doing so far? Uh, 
I guess we'll just wait and see. Okay, we haven't heard Nancy chime in at all. Have we passed? I mean, apparently she can see through this wall. That's great. That, that's cool. I'm glad. So, so far, we have top marks on everything, it looks like. Ma'am, can you... She's like, oh, the, the flamingos look... This is amazing. It looks great here. Oh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. This is a nice wall. That's a nice boulder. That is a nice boulder. Okay. So we are going to the Baird's Tarpon. Oh, Tarpon. Tapir. Baird's Tapir. Sorry, guys. I can't read. And Okapi. And then we have the Stable Antelope. So we already went through and actually um, increased the happiness on all these things. So um, shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I'm assuming she's not going there. Where's the inspector? We lost her. Okay. 2.5, man. I mean, you really gotta suck if you're going for 2.5. Okay, let's go ahead and just follow the inspector around. This is cool. I wish it was daytime. I want to get a screenshot. Chief Beef. Would you like to stop at a burger joint here? Just let me know. I'll, I'll buy you a burger. I'll buy you a burger. Whoa. Where are we? Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Dude, that is a... That is a uh, good-looking... Dude, there. I don't even know what that is. That, that bench is just... It's squishy. Hello. 
What did we receive on that one? Oh yeah, we're gonna pass this with uh, flying colors. Flying colors. No problem of, at all, at all. Not the least bit worried. Um, ma'am, ma'am. All right, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. little a nice little shot of this guy in the dark all right let's follow the inspector uh -huh. yes I see What kind of language are they speaking, do you think? Can't tell if they're actually speaking a language or if it's just like background mumble jumble noise where you feel like you can hear kind of what people are saying, but it's just you didn't catch the whole thing, so I don't know. It's kind of cool. It's a nice sunrise. Sunrise over the uh, whatever this is. <laughs> the panda zoo. Um, you know what we can do? Oh, that lady. Probably should have done that to begin with. Oh yeah, five stars. <laughs> oh, these guys are probably super sad. Let's hold on. <laughs> They're all starving over here. Well, at least she didn't go see the. <laughs> at least she didn't go see the fowls. Let's see. Let's put down. What do they eat out of? These guys. Put one there. What do they drink out of? There we go. And we want to request the keeper. They'll come feed them. And then, because I didn't assign them to a, a work zone or anything, so. Welfare, nutrition, okay. Social group. We need a couple more. They have no toy enrichment or food enrichment, so. Let's see what they require. Okay, toy enrichment. What would a 
What would a uh, pea fowl enjoy? Probably a sprinkler. Okay. Let's see how that got to him. Looking good, looking good. We need another. Oh. Goodness. You know, I really can't believe just how much you've come on during our time together. Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> it goes to show, Bernie's got a keen eye for talent. Oh, and speaking of Bernie, he's not finished with you yet. He's got a new job for you in Canada. I get the feeling that you'd best pack a warm coat. Where is Oh, listen. Canada. It's been wonderful getting to know you, and I'm sure we'll meet again. But in the meantime, good luck. Thanks, Nancy. I've been told that there are smiles on the faces of all of the guests. And that's a real testament to the hard work you've put into this place. And if anything, I hear the animals look even happier. <laughs> Although, in all honesty, it's, it's hard to tell with the pandas. They're so uh, <laughs> enigmatic. Now, I'm told that Lin Lin's quite the character, though. Oh, oh, she's really been a hit with the visitors. You could even say the business is bam booming. <laughs> Bernie, your jokes and, are. Fingers crossed. We might even be able to feature pandas at some of my other zoos. Now that you've shown everyone, we know how to cater for their welfare. I shouldn't be surprised, though. After all, you've become a very capable trainee zoo manager. Mm -hmm. I suspect there isn't a single task I could throw at you which you wouldn't handle with a plum. Oh, That's you never it. know. I think the next one's gonna be a bit of a curveball. <laughs> All right, well, that concludes this episode. So we were able to pass the zoo inspection and get everything upgraded. So hopefully this was instructional as well as informative on how to go about doing a few things in the zoo. That's kind of my intent with this, to kind of have fun with this at first, learn how to play it at first, and, uh, you know, be entertaining as well. So um, if you like this game or this video hit like and subscribe and we will keep it up and we will see you guys on the next episode all right everybody i hope you have a good rest of your day and we will see you on the next episode thanks guys we'll see you later bye